When I was in high school, the subject that I struggled the most with was math. I sucked at math. I was always really slow at understanding the concepts and working through the problems. I was constantly behind everybody else. And because of that, I never really enjoyed math. In fact, I hated it. Then I got to university, and as part of my degree, I unfortunately had to take a first year calculus course. The course I got put into was meant for students who weren't great at math, and so it was spread out over two terms instead of one. It also started at 8 a.m four days out of the week. So that meant I was going to be spending my entire first year waking up super early to take the bus for an hour, all for a math class. I was certain I was going to hate every minute of it. And guess what? I was wrong. I absolutely loved that class. In fact, it was probably the best class I took in university. And it was all because of the professor. He could have been a stand-up comedian if he wanted to. I remember someone had made a Facebook fan page about him, and people would always post the hilarious things that he said during his classes. But he wasn't just funny, he was also the best teacher I've ever had. He taught math in a way that I had never experienced before. He always explained the big picture context of what we were trying to do. Solving each equation felt like a journey of discovery. I remember I remember feeling like he made calculus beautiful, and he was also extremely encouraging. He was always positively challenging us and building us up to be able to solve things ourselves. And for the first time in my life, I was enjoying math, I was understanding math, and I was excelling in math. I got 100% on one of the midterms. I ended up with an A plus in that class, which was the highest grade I ever got in university. I was asked if I wanted to TA the following year, which no, I did not. But I remember wishing that I had that professor to teach all my other courses. In fact, I wish he could have just taught me everything about life. I felt like I would just naturally understand anything that he taught. He just made everything so easy to understand. Everything made sense when he was explaining it. He was able to break down complex concepts and explain them simply, but in a way that still accurately described the problem. And he didn't just explain how to do something, he made sure that we always knew why we were doing it. Now, in comparison, I was also taking a first year computer science course, and that was the complete opposite experience. I did not understand anything in that class. The lectures were always very technical, and I never knew what we were trying to do or why we were trying to do it. And I remember during the weekly labs, if I ever asked for help, the professor would always give this disappointed sigh before answering, as if he couldn't believe that he had to explain something so simple to someone so stupid. And I truly felt stupid in that class. I ended up withdrawing from it. It was after the financial deadline, so it ended up staying on my record. But I figured it was better to have a W for withdrawal than an F for absolute failure. Now, since then, I've learned many different things in many different ways from many different people. Sometimes I'm able to grasp the concept of what I'm learning very quickly, and sometimes I'm not. And this doesn't just apply to teaching and learning, it applies to general communication as well. Sometimes I'm able to understand what someone is talking about very quickly, sometimes I'm not. And from this, I've come to realize that me being able to understand something is not always all on me. If I don't get or understand something new right away, that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm slow or that I'm dumb. Sometimes things just aren't explained to me very well. And if things aren't explained well, it's not really your fault for not being able to understand it. Learning and communication in general is a two-way street where information is first sent and then received. If the information that is sent is unclear, confusing, or incomplete, it's probably going to be that way when it's received as well. Now, I think most people are decent communicators. I generally don't have trouble understanding most people, but I can think of a few examples in my life where I've interacted with people who've been difficult to communicate with. I can think of interactions where I found myself more confused at the end than I was at the beginning. I've also met some incredibly smart people who are absolutely terrible at explaining things. Often, they'll give a very complicated description of something that only they can understand. And then sometimes, they'll get frustrated that no one understands what they're talking about. And because of this, I think a really underappreciated skill is being able to explain things effectively and efficiently. Being able to translate complex concepts into simple, easy to understand notions that still accurately describe the issue at hand. Being able to fully communicate what you need as smoothly and simply as possible. Being able to quickly determine what level of understanding your audience is receiving at. And being able to adjust the way you send out information accordingly. Now, I love meeting people who are able to explain things simply and well. Even if I understand the complexities behind it, I still prefer if they explain in layman's terms. If I need them to go into more detail, I can ask them to. But never once have I thought, man, I wish they explained explain things in a more complicated way. If they've explained things simply, they've just saved me from wasting a bunch of effort or brain power trying to process it. Please explain things as simply as possible, as long as it still accurately describes what you're trying to convey. To me, this is how you explain things well. And I think another
another key element of being able to explain things well is providing context. That was maybe my biggest takeaway from that first year math class, where I finally felt like I understood math for the first time. In order to truly understand something, you need to be able to see the big picture. If you don't have that, you may know how to do certain things, but you won't know why you're doing those things. And if you don't know why you're doing them, do you truly understand what you're doing? Probably not. Knowing the big picture and why you're doing something is also incredibly helpful for problem solving. Even if you get stuck somewhere, you still have a general idea of the direction you're supposed to be heading in. It may also help you notice if something looks off or wrong. Context is extremely important. And I feel like this is an area that a lot of people overlook when they're explaining things. Sometimes they'll just ask or tell you something without providing the context or background behind it. And that means you don't get a full understanding of the issue. That context can make a big difference in how you might respond or how you might approach the issue. So for me, whenever I'm communicating, I always try to provide as much context as possible. In fact, I can sometimes over contextualize. This happens a lot at work, as part of my job involves figuring out and then resolving technical issues that people are running into, rather than just fixing the problems. As often as I can, I'll try to explain why the problem happened and what I did to fix it. I will provide the context of what happened, so as to provide the big picture to whoever I'm communicating to. I do this hoping that it helps them develop a fuller understanding of the problem. And if it happens again, they'll know why it happened and what needs to be done. That, or I'm just constantly annoying all my coworkers by over explaining things. Sorry, colleagues. But yeah, I really appreciate when people are able to explain things effectively and efficiently. Two important E's. But there's actually another E, a third and equally as important E. I think an even more underappreciated skill is being able to explain things engagingly. Thinking back to that math class I took, that professor wasn't the best teacher I've ever had simply because he was able to explain things effectively and efficiently. Lots of my professors were able to do that. It was because he was able to explain things so engagingly that made such a difference. He would make witty jokes. He would mix in fun and kind of weird examples. He made learning about math a subject that I had always hated, fun and enjoyable. He made me excited to attend an 8 a.m. class four times a week for an entire year. So keep these three E's in mind and you'll be a top tier communicator. If you explain things effectively, efficiently, and engagingly, you'll have done so excellently and enjoyably. Anyway, that's it for today. If you found this insightful, your thumbs up is appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos on personal development and self-improvement. And let me know in the comments if you hated math too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.